Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Steph, and today I am going to be sharing with you guys the outfit formula that I have been absolutely obsessed with for the end of winter that I kid you not has gotten me out of my outfit rut and it is just simply with I don't even know it's so basic but here is what I've been doing and the various different ways that I've been styling it I show you guys two variations on it and it is so disgustingly simple that you're gonna be like why are you making a video on this and I'm gonna be like well to be honest with you before I put it together in my mind I didn't really think about it so I'm making the video in case you guys are like me in an outfit rut and are just like I don't even know what to do or anything so the first thing is I show this styled all in light colors because there is nothing that gets me more excited than the color palette change from the dead of winter of all black east coast life into the ability to kind of wear lighter more bright happy colors now you can wear whatever colors you want all year round but for me definitely in like december january for most of feb i tend to wear a lot of dark colors and definitely in the warmer weather i wear a lot of lighter colors I think a lot of people do the same thing so just like making that color palette switch so the first basics of this wardrobe are pieces that you guys probably are reaching for all the time which is one a long sleeve top and two a pair of jeans now what I've done is for me I'm wearing a light color top this is the skims cotton jersey top uh, long sleeve. I wear this so much. It's no surprise. So grab a top that you have just been wearing and loving and you love how it fits you, love the shape, all that sort of stuff. And I've paired it with longer line denim and I've grabbed a pair of split hem denim. These are from EB Denim. And they are a lighter wash. Again, everything is just going a little bit lighter for the spring. And honestly, you're probably already wearing variations of this outfit now. But like, let, like we're just, we're just, I'm just telling you, you know, like, again, nothing's revolutionary here, but you're probably already wearing variations of this outfit. You're just not maybe adjusting the colors or maybe putting the pieces exactly like, you know, whatever. It's very basic. Okay. Then the next thing you're going to do is grab a cardigan for me. I grabbed... Um, both cardigans are actually from Maritzia. One is a longer line cardigan, which I like for, you know, casual, cozy weekends. And then the other is a more cropped one, which I would more wear out for dinner and front, what, well, you know, like going out. Then the first thing, oh God, before that, I popped on a belt. Now this is my Gucci Marmont belt. I know that these were not in style for a really long time. Um, and if you have a belt that is currently on trend, bravo to you, but I have a Gucci belt, so I'm going to wear it. Um, and this is just to tie in the darker shoes that I'm still wearing. And honestly, I think this is the biggest thing is adding the belt has really switched up my look because I haven't really been wearing a lot of belts for the last couple years and definitely maybe going into spring, definitely this end of winter, getting a little bit more mileage out of my black leather belt has kind of just done something. And then I've grabbed a cardigan. Now you can grab a cardigan or like a blazer or whatever. You do you, but you just need that fourth item. And what we're doing here, I saw this, somebody on TikTok talking about this, where it's the, it's like the four item rule or whatever where four items creates that visual interest and the visual appeal. And obviously, if you're already doing this, like, this is just so redundant for you. But I was not doing this, okay? I was going beltless, and I wasn't considering my layers, and I was just popping things on, and it was cute, but it wasn't, like, it wasn't getting me out of the rut, and I definitely feel like this adding just, like, the belt and the cardigan to get that to that, love, like, four item sort of look is the way to go now 
then pop on shoes or whatever. I have both styled these with sambas and with pointed toe heels to kind of give you guys a little bit of visual variation. I'm personally much more stoked about my sambas if I'm being honest with you. For us, we actually haven't had a lot of snow this year so I have been able to wear sneakers a lot of the winter. If you were somewhere that still has a lot of snow, definitely try this with like sock boots or something so that they like tuck up underneath and it like add something even if you're still wearing skinny jeans like try this with like a pair of like black boots or something and like I, I I'm, I'm sure it'll still slay and then you can either pop on I popped on a blazer over top because I don't really have a good wool coat or you can just leave it as is but you get to four pieces slash like five pieces and this formula for me has just been working it's just hitting it makes me feel put together enough for dinners for climb meetings whatever you can also change the color palette light dark colorful monochrome neutral not neutral whatever it is you're kind of working with or wanting to work for definitely going out to dinners at night i have just been wearing it with a dark top and dark skinny jeans not skinny jeans sorry dark jeans um or darker jeans or i've still been wearing the light top but i've had like a like a black um cardigan or like lighter sort of coat the belt darker jeans and heels or whatever and this just has been working for me and it's honestly it is a variation on what i've been wearing all winter long but instead of either throwing on a crew neck over top of it or like skipping the belt something like that i have just been adding that extra layer that extra visual sort of thing and it just has really helped so I know it's very basic. I know that it is not a groundbreaking formula. I have another ground like formula that I've been using and I will share that in a different video for you guys. But this is definitely the more like late winter, early spring anticipatory winter weather formula. So if you guys like this video, please give this a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.